okay. So right now we are stuck in our car because it's dead. We have no heater and we've been stuck on the road for two hours. We've been driving for three, but we've been stuck for two in the ice because there was an accident and we had to stop for them and we couldn't make it up the rest of the hill. We are going to pick up my niece to bring her to Gunnison to stay with us for the week, but we're stuck. We've been waiting for a tow truck for an hour, and you can see the cop lights back there. Yeah, well, traffic is terrible. It, w it was like over a mile backed up because of this accident, waiting for tow trucks, waiting for ambulance and fire trucks and all these sheriffs or whatever. So we've been stuck here for over two hours now, and we're cold. My toes are frozen. We have our puppies. One, two, and one's back there hopefully sleeping by now he wasn't sleeping at all he's just been barking and our car won't start now because we let it overheat on the hill and now it's so cold so we're getting a tow to the next town to stay the night in a motel and then drive home tomorrow and get my niece and then try this all again tomorrow yay Hopefully the snow plows come and make this road a little better because it's a very scary road. And if they don't, we're not coming back tomorrow. I don't know how Dylan's going to study for his finals, but we're just going to have to make the best of it. Can Wait, did you bring your backpack? Yeah. Actually, he brought his backpack. Me, on the other hand, didn't bring my backpack. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I expected the worst, but I did not think the worst could be this bad. And so I got all those things on my fa face, that's from the fogged over window. Anyway, he's upset with me. Kind of upset. He keeps telling me it's not my fault. But I did accept the challenge to go get my niece today, even and though failed. I knew the weather was lovely, icy, snowy. If we would have left during the day, though, it was sunny all day, so the roads wouldn't have been so bad. Oh, and you can see my laundry basket, my bookshelves, because I'm bringing it all home since I'm moving. And our dogs, we brought a bag of dog food for our dogs for today, tonight and tomorrow morning, but they ate it all tonight because they didn't know what was going on. And so, yeah, basically we're just waiting for our tow truck, sitting in the freezing cold, and... Only my cell phone has service, thank goodness, because we were able to call my mom, cry like six times, call his mom, call the tow truck company. Oh, no, and a tow truck start. company from, we call the tow truck company from our town to, to see what the price would be to take us back to our town, but we knew we wanted to go to a different town anyway. So we just called to get a price, but they sent us a tow truck anyway, and they tried to charge us. So, of course, me being my father's daughter, I yelled at them and told them they were crazy and that we weren't going to pay. And they tried to change their story on us, so I knew that they were crazy. So we didn't have to pay, they just left, and they left angrily. So they weren't very happy with us, but I wasn't very happy with them. So right now, I think our tow truck is stuck on the hill up there, waiting to come get us. I can see in my oh that's a tow truck right there but in in my mirror oh well I can't find the mirror anyway in my mirror I could see a tow truck way back there well some kind of truck with flashing lights and I think that's our tow truck so I hope it gets down here soon the only problem is we have three dogs and I don't know if the motel will let us do that but we're just gonna have to sneak them in, sneak them in Dylan says but I say we'll have to tell them our, our situation and See if they're understanding, because we're going to leave at like super early in the morning to get out of there. See Dylan is just over there, angry with me, <laughs> eating his candy that I brought him. I was prepared with food and first aid kit, and we have a bunch of clothes. We even have more clothes in the trunk. We have drinks. We have... You didn't kill the car battery. We have everything. Dylan's already dead. Anyway... Dylan says I have to go, so I don't kill a car battery with the light. So, anyway, bye. Bye. I hope not. This doesn't happen to anyone else. It's terrible. Okay.